really quite busy. Hey friends, welcome to the Tour of England series. This is the last part of the Beachtown episodes. I chose to visit Brighton because it's the most popular place Londoners go, but I've never been. I decided to find out what the hype was about. Everyone's getting their shots.
My mistake with planning this trip was coming on a Saturday. It was not a peaceful escape, but very lively. If I'm honest, I see why the crowds flock to Brighton. The beach itself is lovely. Even though I left early, I am happy I went. And I do plan to visit again and give it a proper chance one day. Now, I want to share three solo day ideas you can do in London to help you get used to solitude. Number one. Going to get bubble tea, or coffee, or a smoothie, anything you fancy, whatever your drink of choice. All you need to do is walk around slowly while you drink it. So it's a windy day, but you know the sun's out and I'm outside. And yeah, I thought I would pull my the beach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Um, hello. Oh, it's the he's attacking me. Number two, watch a movie at the cinema. This is an ideal date idea, especially if you're shy about people looking at you being by yourself. Because once the lights go down, everyone is watching the movie. When I tell people about solo travel, one question that comes up is, how do you do it that sounds so scary? And the answer is, I like to spend time alone. Not just in my house, but I go out to visit places and do activities alone. Being an introvert, I'm good at being by myself. However, I used to be just a homebody. A few years ago, I realized that introverts are allowed to enjoy going outside too. I'm still a homebody, but I go live my best life once in a while, experiencing new things and making fun memories. Number three, reading outside with a nice view. If you enjoy reading, instead of being indoors, just go to a cool location. The fresh air will do you good. I started going out on walks in London, then I took a coach to Norwich for a day trip. After that, I got on a plane alone to visit a friend who was living in Switzerland and stayed with her. Finally, at 21 years old, I went to Tokyo solo for one week. We must learn to walk before we can run. Gradually, I built my confidence. Becoming an independent queen did not happen overnight. So, I want to challenge you. If you have the desire to get to know yourself better and feel there is also a lot of distraction in your life, try to take yourself out on a solo date to help you relax and connect with yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!